Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to detect heteroscedasticity or changing variability by visualizing residuals from a linear regression model and then how to obtain robust standard errors using packages in R. So on the screen you see the data set that shows the relation between cells and square fit. First we are going to set our directory And then next, we import the C underscore stores data into a data frame and label it my data. My data is equal to read.csv in quotation mark C underscore stores dot CSV and then control enter. Now we have 40 observations and two variables. We install and load the sandwich package. We use this package to calculate robust standard errors. Install that packages is used to install the sandwich package. And then control enter. And we use library to activate this package and then control enter. We use the alarm function to create a linear regression model and let's call it regressor is equal to lm and the first one is sales which is our response variable and we want to predict sales by square fit so our predictor variable is sqft and then the data is my data and then control enter. The object regressor is created under environment. Next, we use the resid function to obtain the residuals from the simple linear regression model and labeled simple underscore residuals. Simple underscore residuals is equal to resid regressor. And then control enter. Next, we use the plot function to create a scatter plot of the residuals against the predictor variable square fit or SQFT. We also use the xlab and ylab options to add labels to the x and y axis. So we are going to enter plot is equal to simple residuals concatenate my data and we are going to choose square fit from my data and then xlab is equal to sqft square fit and ylab is equal to residuals or letter e and then control enter so you can see the scatter plot under plots pane so by looking at this picture you realize that we have the problem of changing variability or heteroscedasticity. Note that the residuals seem to fan out across the horizontal axis. Therefore, we conclude that changing variability is likely a problem in this application relating sales to square footage. This result shouldn't be surprising because you would expect sales to vary more as square footage increases. For instance, a small convenience store is likely to include only bare essentials for which there is a fairly stable demand. A larger store, on the other hand, may include speciality items resulting in more fluctuations in sales. So how are we going to get the robust standard errors? We are going to use vcohc function in the sandwich package to calculate the robust standard errors. By using the option type is equal to hc1, we are asking R to apply a widely used formula for calculating robust standard errors. So we have already activated sandwich package. So we can type v c o v h c and in the parentheses regressor comma type is equal to h c 1 and then control enter. So R returns a table on the console pane. This output represents the variance covariance matrix where the diagonal elements contain the variances and the off diagonal elements contain the covariances of the OLS estimators. Because we are interested in the standard errors, we simply take the square roots of the diagonal values of the matrix. In order to find the standard errors, we can create a new object called simple standard errors or simple SE is equal to 
we need to diagonal of this command. So we copy paste this command here. And also we need to get the square root. So 0.5. And now it's ready. Control enter. Now if we type simple underscore SE and control enter, we can be able to see the robust standard errors for intercept and for square foot on the console pane. So now we can easily compute the t-test of significance using the OLS estimates with corrected standard errors. This is how you obtain robust standard errors using R. Thank you for watching.